every time someone move, they would yeah. follow them. They would look its eyes, eh? And if I remember right, its mouth was is a uh, horse face, and its mouth was. If I remember right, its mouth was moving real funny, and its eyes were watching us. You could see. kitchen connected to the living room and dining room and there's two rooms two bedrooms in it connected side by side and right in the middle of the whole house was a whole stove wood stove and I remember Ruby is baby Ruby is babysitting us again and she uh, yeah big bit big window about that size only it was one piece of glass yeah and there was a whole bunch of kids in there right yeah. i remember raymond king spin the bottle and yeah kicked again. raymond i remember yeah. raymond was there uh raymond george um, dewey dewey satsmo and, satsmo and, and gary and, yeah edgar anyway we were all in there and um I remember it clear because Raymond was knocking all the snow off his gloves onto the stove and it would dance around and roll off. And I remember Dad telling us not to do that. So I was so young that I looked up and I told Raymond, I said, you're not allowed to do that. And Dad said, you're not allowed to do that. And he just laughed. But there's lots of kids there. Dad renovated that house too. It used to be that window used to be close to the ground and he lifted it up and the window bottom of the window was about 10 feet from the ground yeah i remember it was really high and there was a tank under it or something yeah. but the, uh there were a whole bunch of kids you know, music playing lots of kids playing in there and, Truth or dare? Yeah. I had to rent out the door and yell live. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then uh, all of a sudden everybody starts screaming around. Everybody was screaming. And I remember Ruby grabbed me, grabbed me around the mouth, and then she grabbed my eyes. She took her hands off my mouth, grabbed my eyes, picked me up, and I was real small. She wrapped me up and jumped on the couch. And there, she was screaming, and everybody was screaming, and the coach was pretty much facing that big window, and I remember... Uh, everybody was running and jumping yeah, on it with you guys. Yeah, and behind it, too. Yeah, and everybody, every time someone would move, they would yeah, follow them. They would look its eyes, eh? and if I remember right, its mouth was... Is, uh, horse face and its mouth was if I remember right its mouth was moving real funny and its eyes were watching us you could see uh, you could see it's a horse there's no horses on the <laughs> around there and I was looking right at looking at everybody who was screaming around and um, every, uh, we, we were, everybody was screaming around and then just moved away, just moved from the window. That same one, I didn't see a horse, but I did see a silhouette with red eyes. Hmm. It looked like, um, you know, like on Bram Stoker's Dracula, it's like before he turned oh, yeah. into rats. It looked like that to me. Huh. He says, one thing I didn't, I didn't even tell you before, I think. There was a guy named Harry Johnson from Kispe Ox. And uh, I was taking the land, the First Nations Land Stewardship course in Old Hazleton at college. 
Anyway, we were doing a field trip. I forget what we went to, an old mine or something. Anyway, Harry Johnson, we were talking around in the back, talking about school, I think, what courses we have to take next. And just out of the blue, I asked him, I said, hey, man. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't out of the blue, because we remember we were looking down when you're coming from Kispiox or Glenvale, you look, you're getting towards Hazleton, you look down, you can see the river way down there. I seen this little black thing sitting on the, it was just a stump. But I remember looking down and Harry's like, oh, imagine if that was something weird, eh? And I was like, I looked at him and I laughed. And I said, what's the weirdest thing you ever encountered? I said to him, He's like, weird. And I said, yeah, what's the weirdest? Do you have anything weird happen to you? He said, uh, he was thinking. He didn't think real long, but he came up and he said, probably 19, 1978 or 79, I forget what year, but it was winter time and there was a horse face monster looking in the windows in Kispiox. And he said, it looked in our window and there, looked in uh, lots of windows and kissed Beox and he said, my brother shot it. My brother's a good hunter and he shot it twice. <laughs> and he said they tried to track it and there's no, no blood or nothing. And, um, but it was really weird that he said that. He said, and that's the same time it happened to us, 79 or something. Yeah, about there. And it was winter time. So that thing... Whatever it was, I told him what happened to us, and he said that's the same time. <laughs> yeah. He said, he said that uh, that Harry Johnson said he seen, they seen it, and it was it looking in the windows. People were phoning around about it, but that's he said his brother shot it a couple of times. <laughs> So what I wanted to add to that was what I seen in Vanderhoof. We went to, I was at work and there was an old elder couple, or she, she was just an old elder and she was with her grown adult um, son. And she came in and she looked really tired so I gave her a chair to sit on and she said, my son's down on the other end He's looking for a ride. His daughter's in um, Prince George Hospital. She's on her deathbed and we're trying to get there before she dies. And I said, oh Lee, I hope you guys get there. I'm sorry to hear about that. Middle of the day came and I walked by and I seen him come out of the bathroom. I was like, oh no, they're still here. And then by the end of my shift, I was closing the door and I seen her coming out of the bathroom. I was like, oh no, and I closed up the store and I went and grabbed Desmond and De Desmond put on his shoes and his jacket right away and we were going to go help them. We went and parked in front of the overweighty and there was somebody there saying, oh my kids in hockey, if you give us lots of money then we'll bring you to or Prince George but only after this game. And then we're like, no, that's okay, we're going to take them for free. I was like, come on, you guys, you guys got to get up there. We drove them up there, and we're coming back, and um, we got past Vanderhoof, and we, I seen something standing on the side of the road, and Desmond wasn't really paying attention. It was really late by the time we were coming back, and I started getting antsy, and I didn't want to say anything because of the way Desmond reacted before to things. It had a horse face, hmm. it had a human body, but the legs was like a centaur legs and it had hoofs. And it started backing into the big ditch, but when it crouched down you could still see the ears wiggling. Hmm. Yeah, I remember and those ears too. <laughs> could still see the ears wiggling and then when we got by it I finally started panicking and I told Desmond I was like it, 
there's something in there. I told him about it and I posted it on Facebook. Not even half an hour later, Cindy and Darren posted on Facebook saying that yeah. they saw it in the same spot as then they saw it flying back and forth. Yeah, I remember that. If you look, if you look up uh, after I talked to Harry Johnson about it, and he said he's seen it, and, and I realized it wasn't a, just a dream I had when I was a kid. That was just the first time we yeah. saw it. Because you were gone. Your bedroom had internet in the house that we're in now. Yeah. I was in their bedroom. Yeah. Only one watching mom, and she started screaming. I come running in, and she's pointing at the window, and I look over, and it's right there looking at us. And then it like moved away, and Rose and Herbie they phoned us and said something was looking something in. was looking in their window too, and so they went genius. outside and they saw. It Look for it. He saw it looking in Eugene's, Eugene's kitchen house. window, and they're saying, "Get away from there!" and shit like that. And it just looked at them. It was off the ground, floating. Yeah, because Eugene's kitchen window is about it's like it's two stories up. Yeah, it's the yeah. back of the house. After they yelled at it and stuff, it looked at them and it started floating down towards Roger and Sandy's place. Yeah, I remember that. Here in so that thing's been around for a while. It's still around. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs>